Light and weight at 5,180 pounds, so very comfortably half ton towable. The uh, Ultralight Winnebago Mini 2401 RG here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan is an awesome couples camping rear kitchen model right here with private bedroom, awesome bathroom, excellent travel accessibility, first class built to last. If you're looking for the last RV you ever want to purchase, this definitely is built to accommodate those sorts of uh, individuals. A quick glance with the slide closed before we get opened up reveals that this camper is very travel friendly. You obviously have full access to the entirety of the kitchen and your seating, even your entertainment, in transit. But how do you get to the bathroom and the bedroom? That's where the door to the bedroom comes in handy. If you're looking for that uh, you know, near full travel accessibility, this is where you get it because you can obviously get to your closets, you can get in here, you can pack up your linen cabinets, your shampoos and whatnot. The only thing you're going to kind of lose access to is this cabinet space right here. And if you nudge the slide a little, you can probably get to that as well. And it's funny with these Winnebago's are doing their job so well. That when I talk to people and walk around the lot here with people who've never been in different trailers, if it's their first stop ever, they walk in one and they go, oh, oh, this is a really nice one, isn't it? They can, they can feel, the, like you can just subconsciously feel the difference in how well something's built. Now there's a ton to cover, so I have to get going. One of my favorite aspects of this floor plan is due to the position of the slide out directly above the wheel wells, um, they have to use a above floor slide out, which means this is a completely carpetless, easy cleaning camper. And I've, I really like the fact that there's no carpet under the dinette as well. Now that's not normal. Winnebago doesn't put carpet under the dinette, but most brands do. Now the lighter, brighter interior decor is really one of the, the signature calling cards of the Winnebago family. And again, at the time of this filming, a full facelift inside and out and god bless america this is not the best looking mini i've ever seen this generation is absolutely on point so let's start back here by the door first of all let's let's start by the fact acknowledging that we've got nice windows on the door side of the rv not just this big cross breeze window right here overlooking your dining and it's hard to find door side windows but the door itself has a window but you do also maintain an interior privacy shade in there now below the uh, refrigerator we actually have a, a storage pocket right there and this interesting tall toothpick door is sort of like your hidden control center for your slides and awnings and whatnot um, as we uh, take a look up here starting with the overhead cabinetry uh, it's all pocket screwed with hardwood cabinet door frames designed to last longer. And as we come down, you're going to uh, notice that we've got nicer plywood box drawers here uh, that are, you know, not going to give you splinters because they're actually beveled on top with storage below the sink. Now, zooming in a little bit closer, I love that big window right there in the kitchen for that extra airflow. And that's complemented nicely by a slide side airflow window here next to the sofa. Now, um, you'll see nicer grade materials. This is a material premium camper right here where we have nicer stainless sinks both in the kitchen and bathroom you see the covers they've recently upgraded updated to the sealed edge thermal foil counters here so that uh, if you are splashing water around a high volume water source like a kitchen or bathroom sink it's far more inclined to hold up but you'll also find as we pan through that even the uh, dining table is made with the same material. So you've got excellent prep space, and I like that you have easy reach appliance plugs right there. And the flush mount stove they've recently updated to uh, maximizes your prep space. You've never had more prep space in here than you do currently. Now, directly across from the sofa is the entertainment system in a no neck wrecker position where you don't have to crank your head around to try to see the thing. You know, if you're on the sofa, you're looking directly at the TV, but you're also at the same time looking out at your campsite. So you've always got a beat on things with, uh, you know, Bluetooth DVD stereo system down here. Now, obviously the point of this is, is mostly for dining and there is a uh, storage below but what's also cool is if we have guests, both this dinette here as well as the sofa can fold down into extra sleeping spaces. So it's a couple's camper that can easily accommodate maybe a guest or two, um, but uh, excellent for a couple little grandkids. The, um, in the slide itself, you see extra storage overhead, but if you pay attention, you might notice there's a massive, massive closet in the slide out. And what I like about that is it gives you a monstrous amount of storage without really being intrusive into the RV. So if I slide around the corner here, let me pop the door open behind me to give us a little more viewing angle. It's just a big, giant, open closet. Now you do have hanging racks there. And sometimes people go, yeah, but it's a big open space. What can you do with it? And the answer is anything you want. 
You can come up with any homegrown solution you want. The fact is they've left you like a blank canvas here where you can do what ever you want with this one. By the way, we do have all LED lights and typically here at Halo RV, any of our, uh, almost all of our Winnebago trailers at this point, we will typically upgrade with the larger, more powerful 15,000 BTU air conditioner. And sometimes on these, you'll even find us including what Winnebago calls their extreme weather package. But guys, what it is basically is starting at the rear wall. It has a blanket of sun heat reflective foil that wraps over the rear wall, around the roof, and all the way down the front nose of the RV. And then they use a layer of double-sided thermal foil in the underbelly to help, uh, you know, increase the efficiency of either your heating or your air conditioning. And they've even improved the uh, underbelly enclosure as compared to previous generations. So that's an optional piece of equipment. It's something you can't see. It is something that if it is on an RV that we have in stock, we will uh, mention that in the listings that we have on our website. And, and guys, it's really important to remember, especially on these Winnebago's, the one that we have in this video very well might not match the one that we have in stock. Uh, they have various different interior and exterior decors and options packages, and we do like to have that all printed out for you. Or call our team, obviously. Now, we've obviously got an easy dual entry bathroom here, nicer porcelain foot flush stool. But another little detail thing is you'll see that all of your doorways in Winnebago trailers, they're fully framed out so that this is structural, so that the wall isn't wobbling, the door doesn't bounce open in transit and bang into anything. Very, very handy. Of course, I shot myself in the foot by leaving this door open here. But there you have it. There's that other big stainless sink that I mentioned with more of that sealed edge counter stuff that I talked about earlier. Um, We'll come back to the bathroom in just a moment. Uh, actually, you know what, let me, I should have just done it right there. Shut, shut myself in the foot again. But anyway, big radius corner shower right here with just tons of elbow room. And you've actually got a legitimate dedicated linen cabinet right here in the bathroom. So you've always got plenty of room for towels. You don't have to like, uh, you know, do the naked streak through the RV. Now what's neat is both entry doors had the little screenshot um, uh, uh, screen door retracting band and I'll show you that when we step outside. Uh, one thing to mention, there is an option from the factory to include a roof mounted TV and that seems kind of goofy but it actually tilts and angles down for easy viewing if you choose to add that. That being said guys, typically we found that we can add extra TVs for the same or less money than you can ever get from the factory. So it's not something that we typically will include. Sometimes it'll be there, not usually, it just depends. Sometimes another dealer will back out of an order and they'll call us. And as our status as the largest uh, Winnebago travel trailer dealer in the Midwest, they know that we'll find home for it. Now, this is really neat. Compared to previous generations that had the short Camp Queen, they upgraded to the longer 60 by 80 residential size queen. And I've had a lot of people say that Winnebago's beds are a lot more comfortable from the factory level. What's cool is when they extended the bed, they had to extend the camper a little bit. And that means you now have a bigger window than you've ever had before over there. And that complements the extra large window over here, which is already a biggest best in class thing, which is pretty handy. Now you do have side stands right there next to the bed. And then we can start getting into the bedroom story. You can see that the bed easy lifts with a pair of uh, gas struts for assistance, which is very nice if you replace and put a heavier mattress on there. And not only is that deep, but it's also completely separated from anything in the outside pass-through storage. Winnebago doesn't let inside and outside bleed together. Now again, material premium, you see the plywood base decking here, and more of that fancy pocket screwed cabinetry, those hardwood cabinet door frames above the bed uh, for just maximum storage uh, capacity whenever, and I really like these the, the cabinet hardware on here. Now over here we've got uh, a, a single full-length hanging closet, and uh, some people go, well, why don't they have one on both sides of the bed? Well, some people feel really claustrophobic here. Some people don't. So Winnebago kind of splits the difference and it seems to work for them. First thing I want to talk about out here is once again that this could look different from the one that we have in stock. Historically, we've done a lot of reds and blues with Winnebago, but we've had a very large voice from our viewers, and thank you very kindly, looking for more of the beautiful neutral colors and uh, we'll see a lot of platinums, and here we have their, their white skin, and even though it, it, it seems kind of like blase as compared to so many of their other colors, guys, when you see it in person, not on camera, I don't know how better to say it other than their white is whiter. 
they use a higher grade fiberglass skin um, on all Winnebago travel trailers. It's a T60 diesel pusher grade gel coat. And if I walk up here, you very quickly can tell the difference with the mirror-like finish that is on this. And the other thing that I thought about is a white skin for our, our hot uh, climate campers. That is going to generate a lot less heat in the RV, and this thing is going to stay a lot cooler for you. Not to mention, the new exterior de decal package that they have on this, or as my Canadian friends would call it, decals, um, it is, it's just stunning. It looks good. The camper looks like it's moving fast when it's sitting still. It has a killer look to it. And when that awning's out, let's actually, let's take a look at that. When that awning is out, this thing has, it, it, it looks like a wing. It looks like it's flying or something like that. So you've got the dual entry doors that we've seen previously. They've both got triple entry steps for easy come and go. Now you've got uh, slam latches and magnet catches on your big pass-through compartment here for easy one-hand operation. And then you get down here and you can see they've got a big storage compartment. And it's very obvious to see it because we have a wider, taller baggage door. Now it throws some people off. You see, oh, well, why if it's all aluminum skeleton, which this camper is, why is there wood under here? And don't confuse uh, think something like a bed base or fascia with structure. Those are two different things. Um, there's nothing wrong with this. It's, it's very strong and very load-bearing, and you're, I've yet to have anyone really complain about it. Now, while we're looking in here, you might also notice you've got an easy battery disconnect. It's really kind of, it, it's easy to reach from the other side, but it's out of the way enough that you're not going to like accidentally trip over it or, or hit it with something. And that's very handy because things like your refrigerator, um, your, uh, your water heater, a lot of stuff doesn't go into off. It goes into low power mode, not no power mode. So that'll prevent phantom load from draining the batteries. Um, this has the same uh, nose cap actually on the front as its big brother, the, uh, the Mini Plus. Um, the Mini Plus just also has a, uh, a partial paint package. Um, this has power awning, power tongue jack, setting and braking camp is simple and easy. Next to that baggage door right there, we do have a simple side mount solar prep for those, uh, you know, silvery suitcase solar chargers. A lot of alliteration always comes out when I start talking about solar. And at the time of this filming, again, they've recently updated the um, underbelly enclosure here so that the holding tanks have a better protection than before. Before they had a, a layer of Darko weave, which is a, a basically a poly fabric. Um, and it did okay, but it just it didn't look or feel as solid. And Winnebago said, we got to go all the way and we got to do this right. Now, this slide out here, again, located directly above the tires. It's an above floor slide system. And it's also on a self-adjusting mechanism so that every time you run the slide in or out, it's kind of fixing itself. One of the other cool things on this floor plan is just the intelligence and the design and the ease of having all of the hookups in this back corner right here. Because this is where most parks tend to have their hookups is in that rear corner. So having your black flush, your outside utility shower, your cable and satellite separate hookups all right here, super handy. Water heater, of course, they use a nicer one. It's a six gallon vessel, but it's gas and electric fast recharge. I believe the total uh, technical number is 17.8 gallons of hot water per hour. Walkable roof, we'll get up there in a minute. I'm actually gonna climb up that ladder for you. We are backup camera ready if you're uh, interested in one of those Voyager camera systems. And we've already kind of seen the awning open. So let's take a look at those doors that I mentioned earlier. This, uh, they have, well, obviously the, I, did I just talk? I did, uh, a lot of things I have to cover on these guys. So sorry if I seem a little disjointed sometimes. The door does not slam open. And then you've got the handy little screenshot retractable band right here, and it kind of does the closing for you. But here's another neat thing, and I don't know that I've ever talked about this in a video before. This might be an RV nerd first. So this little disc, this puck right here, it's nice to be able to open and close the screen door like without letting bugs in. But here's another thing, guys. If you have a little grandbaby or something running around, you don't want them getting out of the camper, slide it over, push it all the way down, and whip it shut real quick and it locks the screen door. I think a lot of people are not aware of that, and I definitely have to start talking about that more often. Fully walkable roof on this lightweight as well, and that's something I like to point out because not all lightweight trailers do have that feature. It is an extra thing here. Um, in addition to that, all aluminum skeleton, even the roof trusses, like everything, all aluminum skeleton on this, they are very heavy handed with their sealant too to make sure that that's gonna hold up longer. They spend a little bit more money there, but that's something you can't really see from ground level. And a lot of people don't even think to get up there and take a look at that. Another thing to point out here is the King Jack antenna system. It is directional, but you don't have to crank it up and down. It gets longer reach and reception. It's both analog and digital. It's something we've been selling aftermarket for years to people with fifth wheels who have always really enjoyed it. 
Um, and that kind of wraps this one up. I mean, she is, th this is one of our, uh, you know, rank and file infantry soldier, uh, you know, well-performing Winnebago's here. But as you can see, we're certainly not hurting on things around here. So whether it's big, small, or in between, from economy to excitement, we only do everything at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.